は勢いあふれる間の若い木も年月を重ねるにつれやがて牢獄へと姿を変え朽ち果てていく Japan seems to be obsessed with robots and AI. Why is that? And how will this tech impact our future? I took a plane to find out more. I'm headed to a place today where tradition meets innovation as literal as can be. This ancient Buddhist temple here in Kyoto has drawn a lot of attention lately because its latest employee is a robot monk. Are you a religious person? If so, would you go to a sermon held by a robot? When I first heard about Minder, that's the robot's name, I was intrigued. But it also got me thinking, isn't it a bit sacrilegious? Should we really automate spirituality? Well, let's take a look at the robot. To be honest, from a distance, Minder doesn't look that impressive. Still, I'm very curious if a robot could have the potential to fulfill our spiritual needs. Minder is set up in a simple white room with seats for about 50 people. In the dim standard lighting, the robot looks anything but alive. But that impression quickly changes when the pre-programmed 20-minute sermon starts. The room's walls turn into a 360-degree screen. And Minder starts to move and begins to speak. With an unexpectedly high voice. When Minder was unveiled in February 2019 at the 400-year-old Kodaji Temple in Kyoto, the robot made international headlines. Minder measures 1.95 meters in height and weighs 60 kilograms and was created by robotics expert Hiroshi Ishiguro in collaboration with the Zen Temple. Professor Ishiguro is probably the world's most famous roboticist. The temple is a kind of a, a virtual reality, I think. We can have um, the, you know, the, the many kinds of imagination about the idea, the world, the heaven and the hell. Therefore, I think uh, you know, the, that is the best place for studying about the new types of virtual realities with our technologies. So you know, the, the mind is a kind of artistic challenge for us. If you want to know more about him and his amazing creations, you can click the link here. Media have called Miner the one million dollar priest. That's how much it costs to develop. The android is modeled after Canon Bodhisattva, the Buddhist goddess of mercy. A video camera in its left eye enables it to address its audience directly. Buddhist monk Tensho Goto is kind of like Minder's father. The concept of a robot priest first came to him about 20 years ago. <laughs> お釈迦様を作りたい。生身の人間、2500年前に我々のえ、仏教を広めたから、その方を作りたいと思ったんですが、AI、AI受けれどもとても人間は作ることはできない。もうその結論を出しまして、それならば私たちに物事を教えてく
or am I just being sacrilegious now? Is there a purpose beyond that? So Minder could become a kind of interactive Buddhist Wikipedia one day. And with advancing AI technology, it could give personalized religious guidance. As practical as that sounds, it's a strange idea for me. I come from a Catholic background. And I just can't wrap my head around a robot Jesus that uses artificial intelligence to help me in times of need. Would you take spiritual advice from a robot? Let me know in the comments. Visitors' reactions to Minder have been mostly positive so far. What's different about Buddhism that makes that possible?神が人間を作ったんで、人間が人間を作っては、フランケンシュタインになると思っておられると思うんです。それからまして人間が神仏を作ると許されないと思うんです。だから西洋における神と我々の考える神仏は違う。私たちはこれ仏は何の魂も何